Well, good morning. Good morning. And we're talking with Nikki Hoffman, who I talked to, oh, it's been a, a, almost a whole year now. That's right. And uh, you're the part of the Naturalist Society. Mm-hmm. And uh, you are, we we're going to talk a little bit about the, um, the, uh, the uh, 20, what, 21st annual Nude Recreation Week? That's correct. Oh, man. Now, you know, last time I talked to you, I was, I was a little shy. <laughs> I think I still am. I said I had that in my notes. I know. I have. I haven't. I haven't taken the plunge yet. I haven't become a nudist yet. But you know. The, you know what's funny is that um, I don't know if it's funny or not. But I. I got four or five calls for the number. Uh-huh. I think Good. because we people. Like yeah, because people want, wanted to be part of this. I uh, wanted to know more about it. I don't know if they want to be part of it, but they want to know more about the nudist uh, or the naturalist society. Mm-hmm. That's that, That's the the etiquette name to say, right? The naturalist. Naturist. It was, it was a naturalist. Back to naturist. Yes. Oh, it's naturist. Mm-hmm. I thought it was naturalist. No, it's naturist. Oh, okay. We care about nature. And... <laughs> I thought it was natural because it's, it's all it's all a natural thing. Oh well, we're, it's all a natural thing, but we 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 care about the environment too, and that's that's a big part of what we do. Okay, all right. Well, um, I, I don't I don't know where to start here. Well, um, I can't I can't wait. I have to send you this magazine because I was just thumbing through the article that I was telling you about. Okay. And I was telling you that you should go. Yeah. In the very last segment of the article tells about cottontails galore that's what you are a cottontail mm-hmm. oh, for what? obvious reasons okay what is what is a cottontail describe to me what, what is a cottontail besides well a cottontail you know like when you take your clothes off and there's that white butt sticking out <laughs> okay you haven't gone all right, all right. nature of speeches and there were a lot of them there yeah but see my whole body would be white because i'm not much of a sun person you know i burn easy well then stay in the shade okay so I would just be a, 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 a white butt and all over the place, you know. You got, you got it. I'd be a big white butt. No, they would just call you a cute little cottontail. A cute little cottontail, yeah. okay. <laughs> um, now, this, so as far as the, uh, the, the, the Nude Recreation mm-hmm. Week, now that's, that's for, the, um, for everybody, right? Right, right. Okay. It's going to be at beaches and clubs okay. um, all over the United States and Canada. Now you're from Osh, you're you're in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. When you're setting all this stuff up, that's right. And you know, I, I know you guys. There's no beaches going on there. I know it's just as cold there as it is here. Colder, probably. Actually, it's not too bad today, but it well, yeah. would be nice. <laughs> but we have had people out at the beach already this year. Well, 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 what what do you guys do though? You like sit when when you go home? Do you like put a sun lamp on and to take your clothes off, or, or do you just just need to do it in well, the beach time? Crank the furnace. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, if, if, is that is that like a t- tell me what that's what that's all about? I mean, do you have to? Is it something you have to do, or is it something you just like to do? Or no, it's something that um, it's just a lifestyle. It's like anything else. Um, people just prefer being without clothes. So it's uh, it's just a lifestyle. You know, you get home from work after having on a suit and tie all day, and it's like get that stuff off. Yeah. And um, you know it's just a preference it's just a lifestyle now you know I, I would love to walk around my house naked <laughs> well there you go so it'd be great a closet, you're a closet naturist well i know i know but um you know i my, my kids i would feel funny around my kids i would you know eh, nah, well see mine they were mine were 10 years old when i started working here and i had already i mean bath time at our house was family conference time we've got moms on undivided attention so i had my three kids sitting on the floor around the bathtub telling me about their day and that continued from the time they were little until they were so they, they and out of the house so they pretty much got used to it then mm-hmm. so it wasn't wasn't any big thing to them no uh-uh. even even when in, in in school when they when they turn to the puberty age and they start you know, wondering was, questions and well see at home that was never a problem Okay. But I do know that that happens, even with children that are raised naturists from the time they're little. Um, and it's not so much that that they're bothered by their body, but peer pressure is a great thing. And I think other kids are uh, worried about their bodies and, you know, comments get made. And, you know, if you have a girl that's overdeveloped or underdeveloped right. or, you right. know, whatever the case may be, um, the tendency is to, okay, if I hide it, it's not going to be a topic of conversation. So they do. And um, generally, I would think that the greatest proportion of kids who at puberty turn away from naturism, they go back to it when they're in their early to mid-20s. Well, yeah, when the body is looking good. Uh, 
uh, yeah. I mean, but you know, that's not, not our that's not our average age, though. Our average age is in in naturism is mid to late forties. Okay. And some bodies don't look so good. <laughs> <laughs> now, what what do you do about that? I mean, I mean wouldn't isn't it kind of hard? I mean, I'm not I'm not trying to be a, a bad guy here or anything, but I think I would have a hard time, even though my body is definitely not in top top notch shape. If I saw somebody that had uh, one of those bodies that just made me laugh, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure there's some out there. I mean, how how oh, can you not? No, and I, I have to tell you that you know we don't have many what what advertising tells us is a ten within our within our nature's community. Okay. But bodies are not important, and I, I you know, I can't stress this. It's it's um, it's something that um, I, I don't know how I can explain it to you. It's it's you find out who the person is inside, and you you accept them and like them for what they are, not what they look like. Okay. And this is very very true. I have to tell you that I don't know many of our natures that are perfect bodies, and they just love one another. Okay. Well, you know, you know it sounds th- like a perfect world. <laughs> well, when, when you when you when you have it all kind of out, <laughs> letting it all hang out, so to speak, mm-hmm. uh, which was the big phrase when you guys started off in like 75 or something, but um, I would imagine that it would be easier to get to know the person a little better because <laughs> you really have nothing to hide. So That's right, and you know, you strip away the facade, you, you, you're you just there and you, uh, you know, after that imi- initial 30 seconds of, oh my God, where do I put my eyes, you you realize that it doesn't make any difference and you just talk and you are... Um, you, you you just it, communicate. That's true. I didn't think about that. Where do you put your? I mean, that's <laughs> got to be for somebody that, that's new to the to the uh, to the uh, 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 naturist. It, it's got to be kind of unusual to, to try to figure out where you do do you put your eyes, and will people be offended if you put your eyes in a place right. that? And after, see, initially, I think that you look in the person's eyes, and then you're afraid to even look down, and then after a while, it's like, ah. Who cares, you know? Okay. And um, I think it's natural. I, I don't. I think you'd lie if you'd say that you never look at the other person because that's human nature. Okay. Curiosity is there, and um, but you get over that, and it doesn't make any difference. It's like, oh, okay, this is what they look like, and now let's get on with the conversation. Okay. Well, you know, there's other there's other things that that, that men can hide that is what would scare the the bejeebies out of me. So you know. Well, number one. Um, that wouldn't happen the very first time you go because you're too nervous. Well, see, that, that'd be all another another scary part right there. <laughs> the no, other thing is, um, part of our naturist etiquette that I told you about is carrying a towel with you. Oh, okay. Just just for that just for that emergency. Okay. Well, actually, it's to sit on because that's a that's a health hazard. All right. Um, but yeah, it comes in handy for other things, and then you know I've been known to push men in cold water too. That'd do it. Yeah, I have yeah, to yeah, yeah, that would do it. Yeah, <laughs> I'd have to bring a, a large raft with me. I think I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we should we should get away from some some of this uh, about the nudity part of it. Let's find out some about, about the, some of the activities that are going to be there. Well, let's see. Um, at the beaches this year, because it's an Olympic year here, mm-hmm. they're going to be doing Olympic games because after all, the first Olympics were in the nude. So we're going to do some nude Olympics. Now, are, 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 were they? Yes, they were. Okay, well, I didn't. I must have missed that part of history <laughs> in my in my in my high school history book. I don't know. Years and years ago. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do that. They also um, one of our largest beaches is on the east coast. It's Sandy Hook. Um, they're going to do in addition to the games, they do a a, a barbecue or a, a hot dog roast, and they give hot dogs away to people who come to their beach. And they actually have a very large crowd of about a thousand people. Okay. Here in Wisconsin. They'll be doing some games down at uh, our Mazomani Beach, and then they also have a like a potluck dinner, and everybody brings something, and they everybody gets together and, and shares. The clubs this year are doing; they're also doing some some Olympic games, but they'll do anything from art shows to blood drives. Um, one year they collected uh, clothes and gave them to the needy, so we do a lot of community type things at the clubs. Okay. You know, they volleyball's a real big sport for us. 
And of course, it's it's all. Now this is all clothing optional too. So mm -hmm. I mean, it, some people would. I, I would have a hard time playing volleyball or football or or baseball with without anything on to. <laughs> I don't know. To, to me, it would be a little bit. It would be a little you strange. You spend a lot of time on the ground, do you? Uh, no. Okay. No. <laughs> no. It, yeah, you'd be amazed if you were with uh, uh, three hundred people and you were the only one with a swimming suit on. Uh -huh. It wouldn't take you long, and the swimming suit would be off. Okay, trust me, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> you know, um, when we talked last year, I remember you saying something about uh, you got involved with this. You went to a, went went on a nude cruise or yes, something. That's right. Mm -hmm. now, how how did did you just have the interest in it, or well, I had um, three girlfriends who worked here. Oh, okay. And they had an extra bunk available in their cabin and asked if I would please come along, and uh, I did, and the rest is history. Okay. Now, how long have you been involved with? Uh, with the uh, uh, Naturist Society. Fifteen years. Fifteen years. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So, um, in these fifteen years, now you just kind of got involved uh, so much where you ended up. Well, you're pretty much r running things, so to speak, aren't you? Or what? What, what exactly is your is your title? I'm called an administrative director, and I don't know what that means. But <laughs> um, I'm one of two people who plan and organize the gatherings. Um, I work with our. We have a network of groups and clubs that are like under our umbrella, and I am the coordinator with the heads of the groups and clubs. Okay. Um, we all wear different hats here. It's uh, we're a very small office, and we all just kind of pitch in and do what we have to. Okay. Okay. So fun. Um, you would think that it would be it would be large, but you know, I just I just it, it is large all together, right? But it's just oh, a small oh, office. Oh, yeah. So to speak. We okay. have um, about. 26,000 members, uh, and, I, and I should say that that's households. That's not, you know, like if there's a man and a woman in the house, we only count it as one. We don't count it as two. So, okay. you know, we're probably much larger than that, more in the 50,000 range. Um, but we are a membership organization, and we do, we publish a quarterly magazine. And yeah, I was going to ask you about that. That's what's called the what, World World Guide to Nude Beaches? We publish that as well. Our, oh, that's our quarterly okay. is called Nude and Natural, but we also publish the World Guide to Nude Beaches and Resorts. And this is in its fifth printing right now. We just, uh, a year ago, we updated it and re redid, revised it. Um, it's a wonderful book. It's a bestseller. It, it actually was on the New York Times. It's a bestseller? Just, uh, just listing the beaches? I mean, does, it, what, does it say more than just listing beaches? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it lists the beaches. It gives, um, oh, like our groups and clubs, our contacts, uh, clubs. It gives oh, directions. Okay. There's photographs in it. Oh, there you go. There you go. That, that, that's why it's a bestseller. <laughs> For it's, those it's, graphic people. You <laughs> there's know. photographs. Okay. All right. Now, now you just now you just raised it. People are going to want to roll the number now. Well, now you said there's go. photographs. <laughs> well, and we also run the only skinny dipper shop in the United States. We we have a satellite shop, but ours was the first, and it's the it's the the original. We sell accessories to okay. people. You know, to clothing optional people. Yeah, I remember asking the question about what, what accessories. But you, I guess, you know, you, you you do need clothes on occasion when it gets a little chilly on the beach and whatever. Yeah, so, yeah. Or when you get a sunburn and you want to cover it up, you know, you got to put a T-shirt on. Yeah, and, I remember. And we, we came out with our own suntan uh, lotion, too, this last year. Okay, okay. So that was fun. All right, all right. Um, I don't know. I, I think when I, when I come I come off to wear my spam paraphernalia, I think. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, would, I don't know. Oh, okay, forget it. Well, you at the beach sooner or later. <laughs> well, Somehow I'm well, going to get you there. You know, you you were telling me before we we started talking here uh, on the air uh -huh. that um, uh, last year, okay, last year you had we had groups like Fort Foreigner. Uh, mm -hmm. What were some of the oh, other ones? Let me see who did they have. Uh, um, Alan Parsons Project. Right. Okay. Kansas Foreigner. Um, I don't now we're having Kansas this this year at the Shoreline or the uh, summer celebration. So uh, now tell me this: it was was did Kansas take off the clothes? But I know we have pictures of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? So, so that look, that's optional, of course, too, for the for the bands that you oh, have yeah. over there. Yeah. Now this is now this thing that we're talking about too. Is it, it happened here in Michigan? It happened at Turtle Lake, right? Turtle Lake Resort, right? And I, there's a group that's local to to you, and I, I'm not going to pronounce it right. The Jockings, Yockings. They're a Michigan group. They played. We had a gathering at the Turtle Lake Resort. Okay. And they also came back. They had a lot of bands. It ran for for three days, and they're going to have it again this summer for three days. 
uh, in June, they're going to have a music fest, and I believe in August they're having a, a nudie blues. A nudie blues. That, nudie that's kind of nice. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we cover all bases here. Uh, or uncover, yeah, yeah, yeah. One, of, one of the two. It was, it was there. You had, to, you had to go for it. Yep. You led me into it anyway. You know you did. <laughs> I try hard. <laughs> yeah. Um, so th- this is going to happen in June. And uh, you said uh, you also said that uh, when we were, before we uh, we said a lot before we came on the air, but um, also you said that uh, the Rolling Stone magazine is going to be there to cover this whole That's thing right. this year. They were there last year too. Oh, were they? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I got to read this in Rolling Stone then too. Also, yeah. if I miss it again, <laughs> I see. I, I don't even know where Turtle Lake is. I don't have a clue. It's um, it's in Union City, which is like. I need that guidebook is what it is. Oh, you need that guidebook? Is that what you're telling <laughs> That's me? That's what I need. I need that guidebook so I can find Turtle Lake, yeah. Well, I guess I could probably send you one. You yeah. think so? Yeah, I think well, maybe I well, can. Uh, I don't know. That makes me feel kind of fun. Yeah, I'm going to send it in a, in, a, in a package where they'll know exactly what's coming. Eh, that's okay. That's okay. You can send it here to KBZ. We don't care. We, we have, we have we know. Uh, okay. people, people know who I'm talking to here. I'm doing it on the air. I'm doing it in front of at least, what, five or six people anyway. Okay. So. I don't hear any chuckling in the background, so this is good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Killing that sound on me. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it, there's, there's a lot, lot of questions, a lot of questions, and uh, I guess the only answer is is to uh, actually experience it, right? Well, I think, you know, like we, we have a, a saying like, uh, don't knock it until you've tried it, and yeah. uh, you really should. It's, uh, it's an interesting lifestyle. I'm one of those people that said I never would do it, and... Now, what, right. how, how old were you when, when you decided to just go ahead and take the plunge? 30 years old. Okay, all right. <laughs> I told, just told you how old I was, but I don't know. What? But our, uh, you know, like our theme for all of this is body acceptance is the idea. Okay. And nude recreation is the way. And we really are stressing body acceptance. You know, we, we tend to listen to the media when they tell us that only perfect bodies are acceptable. And, we, you know, we have kids who... who and older people yeah. who, who are anorexic and bulimic, and it's all because of they think their body image is wrong. And who says so? You well, you know, know but if we if we all go nude, though, we put all the fashion designers out of business. I mean, you know. Well, you have to wear clothes. All the clothing when it's cold. stores. Well, that's true. That's true. And you know, like your jobs and and other things. We're not saying nude all the time. Right. We're saying when it's possible or probable. You okay. Know, when when you have to wear clothes, you have to wear clothes. There's, you know, we, we work for the Nature Society, but we work on Main Street here in Oshkosh, and um, I can't you have go clothes on. Here. What's that? My boss wouldn't care if I went nude, but we have a we have a picture window, and I'm afraid that, you know, we'd have all kinds of traffic accidents out here. Okay, you might, might okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so we, uh, you know, we, we wear clothes when we have to and go nude when we can. Okay. So Now, when, when, when you have a, a long day at work, and you go home, do you just throw the clothes off? Sure, don't you? Well, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess you're right. You got me. <laughs> you got me. Okay. All right. So this this is something we gotta we've gotta talk more about. You betcha. You okay. betcha. I'll, I'm gonna convert you somehow. Somehow. Yeah, maybe maybe you should do the do your show in the nude for nude recreation week. Well actually I'm I'm not wearing any clothes at the moment, but I didn't want to tell you that, you know. So. Well now that you shared that with us, uh, that, that's why there's nobody in the room. That I scared them all away. So, you scared them <laughs> and you're obviously hanging around with the wrong bunch of people. Well, you know, what can I say? Actually, we, you know, at the at our gatherings every summer, we have um, um, ham radio operators that talk to people around the world at our gatherings in the nude. Okay, it's pretty cool. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, I guess it. We have dances. All right. Nude. Now that would be. That would be rough. Having dances in the nude. Interesting. Slow dances in the nude would be rough. Interesting? Okay, interesting's a good word. Interesting's a good word. Yeah, okay. We, we do a lot of fun things at our gatherings. Now, let me, let me ask, let me ask the, the direct question. I'm sure that everybody, everybody on everybody's mind, they're saying, okay, nudist camps are nothing but orgies. And what do you say to those people? Well, like I said, you know, you don't knock until you've tried it, but actually, I, I'm either very naive or um, these things just don't happen. Okay. I'm real serious. These people, this is a lifestyle for them, and, you know, we're scrutinized enough. We certainly wouldn't be having orgies at our gatherings. Especially when you're inviting the public. <laughs> right, and, uh, you know, what, what's real interesting is we even, um, you know, I've seen people walking along holding hands, but that's about the limit. 
You know, if, if somebody's putting lotion on somebody's back, uh -huh. it's only the back. It's we're very, very. Yeah, know, but when when you want to put lotion on the other parts too? I mean, in the sun, it'd be kind of yourself. I see. Okay, I got you. I got you. No, no we. Uh, our, you know, these are like unspoken rules. We have to, uh, we have no overt sexual activity. Absolutely. You respect other people. Privacy, like you don't take photos. And, you know, there's just all kinds of uh, unwritten rules. I mean, it's it's all about respect. Okay. So. And, you, of course, you, you do also publish, uh, what, beach etiquette, too? Or right, what? beach etiquette. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, all right. Well, I uh, thank you once again. And we'll we'll have to we'll have to continue to continue. To, <laughs> I can't even talk here. Continue time. talking about some of this uh, stuff and uh, the number. I should give the number too. You no, betcha. Um, one eight hundred. Is that the one? The one eight hundred eight seven nine. No. No. Wrong number. One eight hundred five five eight. Oh, here it is. Okay. Eighty two fifty. That's it. Okay. One eight hundred five five eight eighty two fifty. There we go. Thanks a lot. Great. Thank you. Well, good morning. Good morning. And we're talking with Doug Mitchell. And those of you who don't know who Doug Mitchell is, he uh, you know, now, are you like the head of uh, Turtle Lake Resort? Uh, right. My wife and I are owners. Owners of Turtle Lake Resort. Right. Okay. Now, I was looking at some of the stuff that you sent. Now, it's right, it's right by, real close to Battle Creek, right? Right. We're about uh, 20 miles south of Battle Creek. You can, it's Union City? Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. And you can get there, what, from, what, 94? Uh, yeah, you can get here from... 94 to uh, M66 and take that south uh, to Union City, or you can take I-69 up to uh, exit 25, and uh, that's M60, and that'll take you right over to the park, too. Okay. Now, we're going to be giving away some uh, some uh, three-day passes, I guess, to, to people to, to uh, go to your resort. Mm -hmm. Now, I, and I've been telling everybody it, it's clothing optional, and I am... I don't. I don't want to say I'm surprised because I don't want to offend anybody. But uh, I, I, I'm actually surprised I, ha I got as many calls as I have. I mean, I have no problem getting calls to go to this thing. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm sure the big reason is because of uh, all the entertainment you have too. But uh, I, I wonder if a part of it is the curiosity of what it would be like to go to a uh, actual nudist camp. Now, sure. Uh, there's uh, a lot of people are curious about the uh, the lifestyle and so forth, and they just don't know where to go or they're afraid to go. But coming to a, a concert. Uh, certainly gives them a, a reason to come to a nudist park other than to say, I'm going there to be nude. Yeah. Uh, once they get here, then they can see how comfortable they are with it and so forth. Uh, so they can pretty much d decide for themselves. Right. Okay, now some of the bands, I'll mention that real quick, uh, like uh, Randy Bachman mm -hmm. um, from Bachman Turner Overdrive, Marshall Tucker Band, uh, Guess Who, The Turtles, Paul Revere and the Raiders, uh, Classic Rock All-Stars, and I guess that's a returning band. Is that a local band or is that... No, no, that's a that's a band made up of uh, Jerry Corbetta from Sugarloaf and Mike Panera from Iron Butterfly and Pete Rivera from Rare Earth. Okay, so it's all the guys all combined into one band. Okay, right. I, okay, I didn't understand that. All right, Lover Boy is also going to be there too. Right. Okay, that'll be that'll be quite a band. So they can they can do like all their hits, so to speak. You bet. Now, and I got it. A Vita could last the whole three days, though. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> uh, and they do sing that one too. I kind of figured they had. They almost they almost have to. Yeah. If the guy there from the Iron Butterfly is there, you, you almost have to sing that song. Right. Okay, so this is three days of entertainment. It's uh, three days of now. Wh when they when they when you say camping, is it? Uh, a, a res it's right in the resort itself, right? That's right. Yes. I've seen a, a picture here of the resort. I wish I can't show it on radio, unfortunately, but uh, it looks like a very nice place. Mm -hmm, it is. Now, how, how many rooms are available in this in this resort? Well, it, it, we don't have a motel. We have uh, rental uh, trailers. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. I see. Okay, the resort itself is uh, for activities that go on inside. Right. We have 160 acres uh, with a half mile of lake frontage. Okay. All right. And then there's so there's there's trailers all around uh, that uh, around the resort that they can rent. Uh, yes, there are. Okay. All right. All right. I gotcha. Um, now, is there different sizes? And besides, just there's this one like one size for two or. No, we have two sizes of trailers. Uh, the smaller one will sleep up to uh, four people comfortably, and the larger ones will sleep up to eight people comfortably. Oh, okay. So you got some pretty good-sized trailers up there, too. Right, yeah. Okay, okay. Now, um, this Music Fest, of course, you've got all these different bands, but you also have some local talent there, too, as far as, uh, let's right. see. Well, the, one, one I didn't mention is Big Brother and the Holding Company. Now, what, what have they been doing well, lately? Well, they're not a local band. They're, uh, no, no. Janis Joplin. Janis Joplin's band, right. Yeah. But I mean, what, what have they been doing lately? I mean, I, I haven't heard anything about uh, the well, Big Brother. I, I haven't either. I was kind of surprised that they were all still together, too. 
Oh, so all of them? Yeah. All the originals? Right. Okay, okay. Now, what about uh, Nuclear Dukes? Yeah, they're a group from uh, Detroit. Okay. And uh, Backfire, they're from Grand Rapids, right? Right, yes. And Seven Toed Pete. Now, what is that all about? Seven Toed Pete, uh, that's spelled T O A D. Uh, they're a band that used to be called uh, Brown Sugar, and they're from 